right, here we are again. And I want to tell you what I've done. I found a closer matching color for the brown headlines. So let's see, I started with H1, and here's what it is. It is 8B4513. Don't forget to put the pound sign in front of it. When you use a hexadecimal code number, you have to put the pound sign first. Also make sure that you have a quote mark at the end and at the beginning of your everything after the equal sign. So the next thing I did was I picked a more closely matching background color for the table. And that is pound sign FFE699. What we're going to learn next week is how to avoid this red text here, the deprecation of that style. And in fact, I could move this center tag back down here and center this H1 in the way that it should be. Let's see, it's a style, so I'm going to say style equals text. Oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to skip a space right there. Let me take that out. Text align, center. There's a semicolon. This is a colon in between the property and the value, and it's a semicolon afterwards. And then you start with your next style. So it's a little bit different here, and that's because this is a deprecated way of styling a table. We're going to learn how to fix that next week. But let's look at what we have here so you can look at the colors. It's a much better match, you can see. Let's close that and look at this. Yeah. So I notice a few other things. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. Oh, there it is. Zooming in. So you can see it's much closer match. Um, but look at that little space between each of these. That's something called cell padding. So I'm going to add that to my table tag. Skip a space. Cell padding equals 20px. Let me do a, oops, one too many. Save. That's a little bit better. It's a little closer. And then the next thing I want to do is try to make this image go to the top. And I also think this one's a little bigger. So I'll make the image, where is it, right here. I said 250, let's say 300 instead of 250. And in this TD, I'm going to skip a space and type V align. That stands for vertical alignment equals top. I keep typing those extra quote marks when I don't mean to. I think this is closer. Now let's... I think it needs to be wider because look how much more space. So I'm going to make my table 800 instead of 600. There we go. Now let's do the same thing with this table down here, which we started together, but I finished it on my own. And what you can notice is that I put a BR tag in between them. So I'm going to make this also 800 so it matches. Here's the whole table. There it is. Let me open this up so you can look at it with a little more ease. And then you can see what I did. I gave the flourless chocolate cake a style of H3 and the brown color. And then I closed the H3. Next, I have a paragraph with the brown color. Then I started my list, and I gave that the brown color. It's an unordered list. I started the tag there and closed it here. And then each of these items, I started with the LI tag, and I ended it with the LI tag. 
I also gave the word chocolate a strong tag surrounding it. I also changed the period to a semicolon. So you can see it looks, oh, that's that one. It looks a little better. This has some work to go. I think I need to make those images smaller. Let's do that right now. We need to give them alt tags. Alt equals, what's that a picture of? Ingredients. And then I want to make it smaller. Width equals 300 px, I think is what I made the others. Oops, I did that again. And I'll just copy all of this and paste it in here. This is a picture of uh, the batter. Save. Now let's see what it looks like. Width equals 300 px. Oh, I spelled width wrong. No wonder it wasn't happening. There we go. So this is looking pretty good. I think this table needs to have this section vertically aligned to the top and it needs the same cell padding. So we want to find the first TD and type V align equal. Uh, and what did I say? The table needs cell padding. looking great. I have one more table to build. Let's do this one together. Start with our table tag and as I have always said, the minute you type a start tag, type the <clears throat> type the end tag. It's, it's my uh, shut the door and then we have a table row and let's close it. If you don't do this, you'll forget your end tags. And then we have a TD, table data. And that ends, let's look at the guide. The first TD ends with, I can recommend. So let's find that. There it is. And that must mean this is the beginning of the next TD. And it would end after the image. So we have our TDs set up. Let's copy the table tag that we created for this one on line 31 and paste it into our last table. Save. Let's see what it's looking like. All right, I wanted a gap between these, so I'm going to have to put that gap between the end of the last table and the beginning of this one. And the gap is just a BR tag. There it is. So I'm going to format these. The instructions was H4, I believe. Actually, why don't we just copy everything that was in the H4, oh no, H3, here we go. I'll just copy the H3 start tag so I don't have to retype all that stuff. And this is where it ends. So we have a paragraph here, and why don't I copy the P tag? Here we go. Let's end that paragraph. And this, as you can see here, is a numbered list. 
OL is an ordered list. That means it's numbered. And it ends after the word cake pan. Now this un this ordered list starts with dissolve sugar. So that's going to be my first LI tag. And that ends at the word recipe, so that'll end here. And it begins with something bold. So let's get the strong stuff. And end that. Now here's another list item. And let's put the strong part in. And close the door. Melt chocolate. Oh, this is sounding so tasty. Put some bold in. Now we're going to add some butter. After all, what's cake without butter? Our next lab is going to have to be something having to do with getting in shape, okay? Because if you're going to eat chocolate cake like this, and you can bet I'm going to make this, now is the add warm water. And this is the second to last listed item. The end. So this listed item ends here, and it has a bold part. But it also has a list inside. So we're going to start a new unordered list because we just want bullets on these. And let's make these each. I'll take out that dash and make it an LI. I'm not sure, but I think this might be it. Let's take a break right now, and we'll do the rest of this site in Lab 4.